let's look at editing files on Linux using VI or VIM. So VI is one of the older editors that's available in almost all Linux machines, almost all Unix machines, really. And so you can type in VI and some file. So file one.txt and it will take you into the editor. You can also type in VIM and use the same thing to get in there, the editor. Now, inside of it, we are in a command mode right now. If I wanted to start editing, I need to get into a different editing mode. Usually insert mode is the way to go. I press I and you can see at the bottom, it suddenly says insert. If I press escape, I can get back out of it, and now I'm in regular command mode. Now, if I press I again, I go back in insert mode, and I can start typing text. So, you can see this nice little text right here, and when I'm done, I can decide what to do. Now, in order to save it, I need to press escape to get back to command mode, and then from there, you can use different commands to save or not save. You press colon, let's see the bottom there's a colon, and then Q will tell it to quit. However, I've modified the file and so it won't quit. It will say add exclamation point to overwrite. If I don't want to save it, I can do colon Q exclamation point and it will quit without saving. Now, if I want to save it, I can do colon W that will save the file. Usually what people do is they do colon WQ for write then quit. You can get out and that's how you do it. You can also use VIM, same thing. Go in there. Once again, you are in command mode. If you want to edit, usually you drop in insert mode. However, if you suddenly decide, you know what, I wanted to add the letter D. You press a couple times, it can suddenly delete things. Not a good thing, so you want to make sure you're aware of that. Also, uh, if you want to edit, you can put this, I mean, not edit, but search, you can use the slash, forward slash, type in something like ASDF, and you can find an ASDF, it'll take you down to it. You can press slash again, drop in the next one, and that's how you can search in here. Once again, once it quit, you need to uh, make sure you're in command mode. I'm still in command mode, um, so I could just put colon WQ or just Q exclamation point if I wanted to quit without saving. And that's how you edit using VI.